The charcoal drawing by William Kentridge is one of many he created for his 10th stop frame animation called Other Faces. It is also uh, called the Chronicle, uh, the Soho Chronicles. And you will see uh, in this particular drawing many examples of the manner in which Kentridge goes about creating these uh, stop frame animation forms. The driving screen uh, in this particular work also lending itself ideally for projection of all sorts of images that Kentridge integrates in this particular film. Scenes from his childhood, from uh, his parents, from his first love, and from his experiences in, uh, in and around Johannesburg. The main character is, of course, uh, Soho Eckstein, the archetypal capitalist, and he is often pitted against his foil, a character called Felix Teitelbaum, the archetypal lover and a poet. In this particular uh, film, Other Faces, it, it centers on the life of Soho Eckstein and of the many conflicts he experiences in a completely different Johannesburg, a Johannesburg that has changed from the invented hills, as Kentridge called them, from those mine dumps at the south of the city center to a reinventing itself in the progressive mining technology. And in the end, of course, this particular screen also had to go. Soho Eckstein wanders through the city centre and he is involved in many clashes. Car crashes, clashes with other cultures, uh, clashes in his mind as he remembers his past. And in a manner, the city of Johannesburg not only becomes the context of his experiences, but also a subject itself. The film features, for instance, the War Memorial in Saxonwald. It features a grave digger at West Park Cemetery and also the streets in the city centre that have changed so radically that today one can almost call it Little Ethiopia. At the end of the film, of course, this famous driving screen collapsed together with the mine dumps that are completely eradicated.